Howdy, how's some Master Users here, and well, as we said before, it's time we, we review Loki. Now, if I will be honest, we kind of, um, when this was first announced, I think we start to think, oh, is that the reason why the event, why the events of, yeah, why what happened in Avengers Endgame happened? So we're like, look, as we all know in Adventures Endgame, an alternate time version, a past version of Loki escapes, creating a new set of timeline, which wasn't meant to happen, because the Loki that we've seen throughout the previous films dies in Infinity War. So this was very interesting, and we're wondering, was this forced because of his popularity? And so there was a bit of hype as well as thought maybe this wouldn't work. But we count comes out and you know what? At this stage I would say it's probably actually let me just double check if I what my scores for Falcon though. Well at this stage I might say this has been my my I don't know whether this I might say this is probably one of the uh, a good show, honestly. It, it, it's about the same, same quality, I mean. I found it really good, and you know, the more it got into it, more the more the series continued, the more I got into it. Although there was one episode that seems to have divided the fan base, but anyway. So as we know in Avengers Endgame, the Avengers mailing cr creates a another timeline where a past version of Loki escapes with the Tesseract. This is... This, these events aren't unnoticed as the T, TVA, the Time Variance Authority, catches up with the, with the Loki variant and brings him brings him to the headquarters. Well, they initially plan to erase him and return the timeline to where it was. An agent of them, an agent within their organization known as Mobius and Mobius, played by Owen Wilson, thinks Loki might actually be able to help them. While initially reluctant, Loki decides to stay around, realizing that this, the power of the TVA eclipses anything he's ever known. And especially after he realizes how his future would will end up after if he continues on with his timeline. So he and Mobius team up to track down a mysterious entity, which turns out to be another version of himself, a female Loki, that is, from disrupting the TVA and creating chaos. So that's the premise, and as we go on, we learn what the variants, the other variants, the female Loki, whose name is Sylvie's, plans are. Mm. But we also get introduction to what will probably be the next big battle bag of the MCU, Kang the Conqueror, who was meant to, who is going to appear in, in Ant Man the Wasp three, uh, well, Ant Man the Wasp Quantum that is. So, and to be honest, the way it builds up is really well done, and by by teasing that this is coming, and we, I'll explain what, and by having probably the next season of the show, yeah, this is this is going to be the first um, Disney Plus Marvel show that's going to have um, a second season. Um, probably going to set up more before we get to Ant Man. It is really intriguing. I mean, we also get set up for, towards the multiverse. I mean, Loki's meant to appear, and Loki this season is going to tie into Doctor Strange too, along with. One Division, Spider Man, No Way Home. And so, yeah, at least the build up is really well. I, I like also that there's a lot of the acting, of course, is good. Tommy Elston is, you know, on top as Loki, and Old Wilson's great. The other actors do a good job too. Even Tara Strong makes a brief, makes a, does a voice, voices the um, mascot of the TV and she, the mascot's actually pretty, very interesting and should be, probably be expanded on the next season. But the quiet moments help out a lot, especially with between how much uh, you get to sit down and talk, and you understand what these characters all want, and they're really believable, and you buy their friendship. Um, the mystery as well, as, as we said, how they're going to introduce Kang Conqueror is intriguing, and by the end of it, you get to understand what's going to happen. And I love how little amount of action there is in the show. I mean, there's not much fight scenes. Yeah, there's a few here and there, but really it's just, you know, 
with a bit of fancy elements here and there, but you know, it's just these characters just trying to get work out what the best solution is. And you know what? I think that's pretty good. That's a fresh concept. And you know what? For Marvel, and I think it's overall worked out pretty well. Um, if there's any cons, episode three is probably the one episode of this show that's left a lot of people divided because it's it really just takes a break from the main story um, and just focuses on other things. But I think as you get to the end of the series, you can understand why the episode even needed to be, why the episode ha needed to happen. Um, and it's hard to tell at this stage whether we need a second season of this show. I mean, with what if, it makes sense because there's still so many possibilities you can do. But, well, that, of course, the first season has come out yet. Yeah, that's next month. But, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with season two and how they further establish Kang the Conqueror before we get to Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania. But in the meantime, I think the first season is really good. I'd say give it a watch, especially if you're in the need for a fresh, for something new with them, a new uh, style for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm giving this an 8 out of 10 has stars. So what's next with Marvel? Well, it is What If. Then in terms of movies, it's Shang-Chi. But um, there's still other things I want to review. Plus, um, including the, t the thing I originally had planned before I changed my strategy with these Marvel stuff. And, well, I have an idea for another video, which is, which is sort of in a, which is a TV movie similar to uh, Dr. the Carolina White story. Well, okay, it's not entirely, but it is based on a true, on a true story. Not the same extent as the Carolina White story, but you, you'll get the picture. But in the meantime, um, Hazard as News is out. I will see you for my next review. Not sure when it'll be, but in the meantime, keep safe. And, well, if you haven't got to, and just, well, watch me. Enjoy yourself. Ciao.